and he went to the synagogue, as his custom was, on the Sabbath day. And he stood up to read, and there was given to him the book of the prophet Isaiah. He opened the book and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. Luke 4, 16-21 At the beginning of his ministry, Jesus proclaimed that he had been sent to announce a joyful message to the poor, making it plain and confirming by his life that the kingdom of God is for all men, beginning with those who are most disadvantaged. Indeed, he made himself a catechist of the kingdom of God for all categories of persons, great and small, rich and poor, healthy and sick, near and far, Jews and pagans, men and women, righteous and sinners, rulers and subjects, individuals and groups. Jesus is available to all. He is interested in the needs of every person, body and soul. He heals and forgives, corrects and encourages with words and deeds. The General Directory for Catechesis outlines the norms for teaching the following groups. Infancy, childhood, children who do not attend school, children who grow up in families affected by religious indifference, adolescence and early adulthood, pre-adolescence, adolescence and early adulthood, adolescents who do not attend school, children and adolescents not adjusted to the conditions of life, adulthood, old age.